Given its small size, the Victorinox Classic is often regarded as a keyring tool. Let's look at some keyring size lights that are representative of current LED technologies, but whose cost and size compared to the Classic SD in Executive 81. The basic Classic model consists of scissors, blade, toothpick, tweezers, and nail file. It is 58 millimeters long and has a combined nail file and screwdriver, so the name Classic SD. The slightly rounded edges of the screwdriver also allow for Phillips screws. Victorinox has continued Wenger's version of the Classic, the 65 millimeter Executive 81 or Wenger model. The blade is 5 millimeters longer than the SD. The noticeably larger micro serrated scissors are lever actuated rather than the tiny spring of the SD. Let's start by making a paracord keyring. My choice here is a smaller diameter 3 millimeter paracord, sometimes called tent cord. The cross knot is small, decorative, and not difficult to tie and retie. It is constructed of two loops and then threading the working end of the cord through each of the two loops. If desired, tools can be placed on the paracord before the knot is made. Leaving longer ends on the paracord makes it easier to retie the knot. Let's look at two AAA lights, perhaps better size for the larger Victorinox Executive 81. They can work with rechargeable 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride cells. Alternatively, an expendable 1.5 volt lithium cell allows for minus 40 degrees in a 15 year shelf life. The Phoenix E01 version 2 uses a total internal reflection or TIR optical lens and a Cree XP G2 LED. TIR allows the lens to be smaller, while often favoring a wider distribution of light rather than distance. The E01 uses the common off-on ratcheting twist head method to progressively increase light intensity over three levels. To my eye, the light quality is neutral white. Phoenix provides light intensity measures in lumen and candela. Lumen is a measure of total visible light output, whereas candela is a measure of directed or focused light. The more focused the lens, the higher the candela, and the greater the distance the light will throw. Throw is the farthest point to where the light intensity is about that produced by a full moon. By the numbers, the E01 always starts at the lowest level of 5 lumens, 21 candelas, providing a 23 hour runtime. Medium of 25 lumens, 88 candelas, for 4.5 hours, and next a high of 100 lumens, 304 candelas for 50 minutes. Recall that throw is the farthest point where light intensity is that of a full moon. That's about 0.25 lux. With the E01 on high, it's 304 candelas is divided by 0.25. And the square root of that result equals a 35 meter throw or about 114 feet. The E01 has an excellent ingress protection of IP68. The 6 means fully dust tight, and the 8 means protection against long periods of water immersion at a depth of over 1 meter. Phoenix includes a slip ring for a keychain, extra o-ring, and alkaline battery. There is a 5 year repair or replacement warranty. With the light held about 30 centimeters or 1 foot from the text, and at the lowest level of 5 lumens, both pages are brightly illuminated and entirely readable. Working some half inch or 12 millimeter heat shrink tubing over a section of aluminum alloy case will reduce marring the knife scales and improve grip as the E01 is rather smooth and a half inch glow ring can protect and locate. The Thrunite TI3 version 2 uses a deep orange peel reflector available with either a cool white or neutral white XP G2 Cree LED. I'll be using the neutral white, though this appears a warmer white. 
The TI-3 uses the common off-on ratcheting twist head method to progressively increase light intensity over three widely spaced levels plus a strobe. By the numbers, the light starts at the lowest level of 0.04 lumens for a 115 hour runtime, next a medium of 12 lumens for 6.3 hours, and high of 120 lumens, 513 candelas for one hour. That equates to a 45 meter or 147 foot maximum throw. The impressive 0.04 lumens or firefly mode with the deep orange peel reflector provides just enough throw for close up navigation or tent use without destroying one's night vision. The IPX8 protection against long periods of water immersion at a depth of over one meter. Through night includes both a chain lobster claw clasp, slip ring, extra o-ring, and pocket clip all shipped in a reusable tin. The pocket clip can be fitted in either direction for affixing to either a hat brim or in the pocket. There's a two-year replacement warranty. With the light held about 30 centimeters or one foot from the text and at the lowest level of 0.04 lumens, most of one page is warmly illuminated and entirely readable. Perhaps a good option if one reads in a shared bed. Though the TI-3 is heavily knurled for grip, adding heat shrink tubing will reduce marring the knife scales and offer some protection. Part 2 looks at a sample of internally rechargeable keyring lights. Remember to adapt, make, and be resilient.